All right, guys, we've got a good one today. Well, with the Olympics over, you all probably have your favorite moments. Most people did not watch it because of the opening ceremony, which was very uh, questionable, uh, anti-Christian, very weird. But anyway, if you may have seen some highlights, mainly the uh, Australian PhD breakdancing champion of the world, Ray Gunn. She came out on the world stage and ended up getting zero points from the judges on the breakdancing stage of the 2024 Paris Olympics. Well, with that incredible performance and the mocking and the memeing and the ridicule and the poking of fun, uh, <clears throat> the uh, Los Angeles 2028 Olympics did not opt in for breakdancing to be included. So there you go. Ray Gunn has done such an incredible performance. I don't know if it was trolling or what. She actually, uh, yeah, she done such a incredible performance. LA Olympics are like, no, nah, we don't need the ridicule and we're not going to do the satanic opening and satanic closing like the Paris Olympics has done. Oh my Lord. So hopefully maybe these guys in LA are going like, yeah, let's, let's be cool about this. We don't want to lose all our advertisers. And uh, yeah, she might do well, but um on the uh, interview circuit, but she's all upset she got a zero. And uh, yeah, but she beat out actually a good, funny, she beat out a good break dancer. So what is up with that? So having said that, I got a good little video from Salty Cracker, great channel on Rumble, but also this is on his YouTube channel. He has been demonetized because YouTube is afraid of truth and just sarcasm and uh, for political and social commentary. This guy's great. Go check him out. Uh, he's just well worth a watch. He make you laugh and a lot of good input insights to stuff. Let's rock and see what he has to say about this. Well, good riddance to the breakdancing section of the Olympics. This goofball over here so utterly destroyed this competition by being the world's worst breakdancer of all time that they will not have breakdancing as an Olympic event in 2028. Take a look at this. <laughs> the feeling when you see Laley ended breakdancing as an Olympic sport. I can't even show you clips of this. The, YouTube hates this channel so much. If I show you four seconds of this goofball having a seizure, pretending that it's breakdancing, they nuked <laughs> the video. They did this with those idiots who were swimming in that river and they threw up and they got E. coli. I showed four seconds of these people swimming he in the water. wrong. And YouTube was like, that's the right thing. He's right. If you show anything criticizing stuff that the regime and these people at YouTube hold dear, they will, they will basically strike your channel, cancel your channel, demonetize your channel. It's all funny. And he's completely right. It's, uh, it's, it's bull crap. So everyone should be like sending Elon Musk a thank you letter for keeping making Twitter free. You know, you don't break the law and post stuff you can't break, post, but you, you can still have a uh, free speech this is the only country in the world that does allow free speech so he makes a good point here but here you go here's australia's absolute worst dancer of all time this fucking goofball supposedly not, not supposed because colleges are so stupid they'll give you a degree in anything this idiot has a phd in the cultural linguistics of break dancing look that up it's insane and what he's saying is true <laughs> In Australia, God knows what's going on here. I think they've been taken over by the commies as well. Uh, this person has a PhD from a university in Australia for linguistic studies of breakdance or something silly. Oh my God, you can't make this up. And then you wonder why you get on a stage and get a zero when you're dealing with people that grew up breakdancing and understand the meaning, the history, uh, the cultural aspect of it. And then somehow qualifies to be in the breakdance competition for the Olympics, scores zero points. I'm talking 0, 0.0. And then comes out and cries, <laughs> you got the racism against my vagina. How are we racist? What? Racism against your vagina? No, you're just horrible at this. You're atrocious. It was a completely insane thing that you did on the world stage. And again, the reason why you ended up on the world stage of the Olympics for breakdancing is because you're a dumb liberal. Because you stupid assholes of the liberal side are afraid to give anybody any type of critical critiques. You can't dance. And everybody around you is like, oh my god, Viv, you're super duper the best, Viv. 
Oh my god, that break dance thing! <gasps> when you break dance, angels cry. <laughs> the angels cry. Oh my god, it's so funny. It's so funny because it's true. Uh, I don't know. How did I I know Ozzy Man also made a video on the incredible moves. You know, she was imitating wildlife in Australia, like the kangaroo hopping, the wallaboo rolling over the uh the uh oh what is it the Oh, the, the black adder. What's the black? I can't. There's a killer, a couple of million killer snakes in Australia. Uh, it's just incredible. So he nails it, man. Salty is prepared. He comes out. That's why when I saw this, I just had to laugh and share it. Except not like real angels, though, because fuck them. They don't exist with your spaghetti sky god. Assholes. All of you. Washington Examiner over here. Breakdancing will not return as a sport in 2028 Summer Olympics. You memed this goofball so hard, they had to scrap this entire event from the Olympics in the future. Well done, lads. Nice work. Continue to fire them meme cannons. Turn them on to the world's worst breakdancer, political equivalent Kamala Harris. And let's get it done, SA. Thank you so much for watching the video. Support channel. Catch up to date on us. Destroy. So that's true. He's so funny. It's like you've done such an incredible job at the world stage. You got it banned. And for the woke Olympics in Paris, that is saying quite a lot. So anyway, there you go. What do you guys think? I did not watch the Olympics. I only caught little highlights. They popped on Twitter. The one guy with the big package lost the pole vault because of his big package. Uh, a lot of cute runners out there, but again, they're young, so you can't really say that. It's not good. So it's like, oh, they're, oh wait, they're under 18. And if people are catching themselves, like Norway has a lot of beautiful women. That's just, let's just say that. Uh, what else happened? Oh my God, oh, the one American chick twerking, which is, yay, America go, way to represent. Uh, there's so many, you see the guy thrown up from swimming because the, uh, the Seine, is it the Seine River in Paris? Uh, so polluted. And after it rained, it got more polluted. And uh, people were just saying, no, we're not swimming in this. And this guy did. And one of the events got sick. Oh, there's so many things. The best one, I think the coolest thing, like zero Fs given, was the Turkish uh, marksman shooting. Go check that one out. The guy just walks up. Everyone else has this stupid crap on their eyes for, you know, targeting on their glasses and sights and blocking their eye and that. This guy just walks up in a T-shirt, pops out the air gun, plum, 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 plum. game over. He gets a silver. That's That guy is an assassin. He is an assassin who said, I'm bored. I'm going to go do something at the Olympics and then call me when you need me. And he did just that. Anyway, what do you guys think? I thought this was a good take on the video. All in humor with what's going on in the world. We all need a good laugh and a social commentary on what is happening. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.